the USMLE loves to test various vignettes related to pruritus. So let's go through the highest yield diseases that present with itchiness. All right, so pruritus plus ulcerative colitis. Let's say the patient on the NBME vignette has a slight elevation in alkaline phosphatase. You get an MRCP and you see beating of the gallbladder tree. You should be thinking of primary sclerosing cholangitis. Now, why primary sclerosing cholangitis causes pruritus is because you have bile acids that are going to deposit underneath the skin and that causes a reaction that causes you to be itchy. For step two, you got to know that PSC is associated with P. anca and is going to be a risk factor for cholangiocarcinoma. What about pruritus and a food trigger? You should be thinking of urticaria or hives. The reason why hives cause urticaria is because you have mast cell degranulation and histamine that is going to be released and that causes the itchiness. To integrate some immunology, remember urticaria is related to a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction and if you're taking step 1, here's a farm integration. Remember we use H1 blockers like cetirizine or diphenhydramine for management. Now what about pruritus in a female after a hot shower? This is consistent with the diagnosis of polycythemia vera. Remember, polycythemia vera, JAK2 mutation. On your NBME questions, watch for all cell lines, RBCs, WBCs, and platelets being elevated. Now, why do you get pruritus in polycythemia vera? It's because you're going to have dysregulation of the mast cells and basophils. When they are going to degranulate, they're going to release histamine, and that is going to give you the itchiness. Finally, let's say that you have itchiness specifically within the webs of the finger. You should be thinking of scabies. Now, the reason why scabies causes you to have pruritus is because the mites are going to go underneath the skin in affect the stratum corneum, and you get a type 4 hypersensitivity that is going to cause you to have pruritus, especially at night. For step 2 CK, remember, management is going to be topical permethrin. So to summarize, what are the pathophysiologic mechanisms related to pruritus? You're going to be thinking of deposition of bile acids, histamine, as well as type 4 hypersensitivity or infectious causes. Follow me for more high-yield USMLE content to help you think like the test maker.